Hello Disney Infinity Trainers! Welcome back to episode number 3 of our Let's Build a Toy Box series. And you may not notice, but unfortunately in trying to record or in trying to kind of um, replay this video, I noticed that my audio for my mic was not working at all. Like it, it was cutting off. I don't know what happened, but basically you couldn't hear a word I was saying. And so this is being post commentated here. Meaning that I've already played this episode, I've already, you know, done the episode, and I am basically commentating after the fact. So, um, sorry if, you know, I kind of forgot what my thought process was as I'm going through this episode, but I'll try my best to explain everything to the best of my ability. So basically, in this episode I wanted to showcase my farm and show that I do have a couple new plants. I have uh, the cotton candy, as well as the churro, if you can see that in the distance, and... Yeah, the cotton candy is in full bloom here. Basically, in this episode, I want to show off the farm and some of the improvements that I've made to it because it is quite a bit different than in the previous episode. And I think it's in the next episode where I finally start uh, developing the Main Street area. And so this will be, I think, the, the kind of last episode for now where we spend the majority of our time in the farm. So <laughs> hopefully you'll enjoy. And, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Take a look at it. So I also made a change to the Scarecrow. I, I, Like I said I was going to, I added a few different phrases for him to say. And what I also did was I, I configured or I utilized the calendar configurator so that there are three different periods of day. And depending on which of those three periods of the day you're playing in, he will say one of five different things each. So if you're playing in the morning, he he will say one of five different phrases that are somehow related to morning. If you're playing in the, in the afternoon, he will say one of five different phrases that are somehow related to afternoon. And same thing if you're playing at night, he will say kind of some night phrases. So I thought that that was a really cool and really unique feature that I could add. And it really gives it some personality. So here he's saying, the moon is so pretty tonight. Or is that Endor? So I'm playing at night right now. You can't really tell because of the sky, but uh, when I recorded this video, it was night. And so he's saying that the moon looks really pretty, but he was questioning whether or not that's Endor. So let's take a look at some of the others. Can't sleep? Neither can I, literally. So uh, that's a little joke there. He, he kind of has a sense of humor. I, I kind of made sure he has a, a little bit of a sense of humor so that he's a, a, a fun kind of um, companion for us in the farm. Uh, this one, same thing. So basically... Here what I'm doing is I'm just kind of running back and forth. He says, what brings you out this late, friend? That one's not very funny, but uh, I'm just running back and forth to see the different things he says. So, oh, you're out late. That wasn't me singing Let It Go. So it's kind of like we caught him singing Let It Go. Um, and basically, I think at this point, I have I've seen all five of his phrases for night. And I was just running back and forth to see if there were any that I missed. But I don't believe there are. So currently, he has 15 different phrases to say. Uh, you know, depending on the time of day you were playing. And what I plan to do is I, I might just add a few more over the course of the episodes uh, just so that, you know, it changes things up a little bit as well. And I think in the next episode what I'm going to do is, is maybe not on screen, but I'm going to um, shrink the radius for where where he says things because right now it's still pretty big um, I think it's still closer to 10 and so even if you're not really close to him he'll still start saying stuff so if you're like farming in the fields he might still speak so um, just so that it doesn't get too annoying so that's why I want to maybe make the radius a little smaller but also add more phrases so that it's um, you know a, a little bit different each time Okay, sorry about that. Uh, there were some garbage trucks driving by my house, and they were really loud. Hopefully you didn't really hear that. Um, so, now, like I said, Anger's looking at the butterflies because he really likes butterflies. He doesn't really look like the type of guy who enjoys the company of butterflies, but believe me, he, he actually does. He told me. Um, so here I have some other different plants, some candy corn, some cotton candy. Um, and basically, I'll explain a little bit about farming. So whenever you, you get a new plant, 
when you harvest that plant, you get a little hat for your for your sidekick. And if your sidekick wears that hat, they have a, a higher chance of planting that particular crop. So right there, I just got the candy corn for the first time. And so if I have my villager wear the candy corn hat, there's a higher chance that that, that, that sidekick, sorry, sidekick, not villager, there's a higher chance that the sidekick will plant candy corn. And so that's how you kind of keep developing the crops that you want. And there is also a small chance for all of the villagers to plant a new crop. And I think that's dependent on their luck stat. So if you wonder what their luck stat means, if they have a, a very high luck, that means that they have a higher chance of planting crops that you don't have yet. And that's how you get the new ones. And then when you again, when you harvest to those, you get the hat. And when you give them the hat, then they plant them. And it's just like an ever-going cycle. At this point in time... I've already recorded uh, several episodes of this series, and I've gotten uh, quite a few newer plants than, than the ones you see here, but at the time of recording this video, which was a few days ago, you know, I the cotton candy and churros and, and all that, they were new to me, so I, I was pretty excited to get the pizza and the churros and the, and the cotton candy. Um, I might I might also do a farming guide video, just to kind of, um, because I have been enjoying the farming, and it, I've been learning as I go with it. I think I still learned some new tips from other people online, and it's pretty helpful to have like the community also participating in in these these um, gameplay elements as well. So you can kind of learn from one another. So I might do a farming guide video because I know some people still have a lot of questions about it. Although, like I said, I'm still having questions about it too. So I don't want to pretend to be like some kind of authority on the matter. <laughs> so when I maybe when I know enough. All right. So here I also added some functionality to the barn because I didn't want it to just be a piece of decoration here. I wanted there to actually be some reason to to actually go to the barn. And so I'll show that. I think right now, uh, Anger is being a little hesitant here. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Uh, I don't know why I'm just standing around here and, and wandering around. But um, basically what I did was I set up a trigger area inside the barn, and I attached it to a context button, which means that when you activate the trigger area, the context button allows you to... Uh, it says you press a button for something to happen, and if you press it, then that thing happens. And if you don't press it, no big, no hard feelings, nothing happens. Um, and when I get there, I'll show what it is that I what, that I hooked it up to. Um, but I guess Anger just wants to harvest some more, some more cotton candy and Jello. <laughs> I got the churro hat. There we go. And so I found that one of the easier ways of harvesting these crops is there's this uh, rapid fire blaster, uh, a Agent Calhoun, Calhoun, Calhoun's gun from from Wreck-It Ralph. Um, I have a, the power disc of her gun, and it, it fires really fast, and it it makes it a lot easier to to harvest multiple crops. But anyways, here you go. So it says summon Strawberry the horse. So basically, you press square, and it summons a horse. Because another quick way of harvesting plants in the farming mode is by riding on a mount and so if you sprint with your mount they'll they'll run through all of your crops and it'll basically automatically harvest all of them or at least break them apart so you can collect them and and look how easy that is there so um, this is the horse it's a pink horse from from the Toy Story playset I believe and I just named it strawberry because it reminded me of strawberry milk <laughs> strawberry milk's pretty good and it, it kind of fits with the whole kind of like candy sub theme here um, and so yeah so if you want to have a quicker way of getting around the farm or just getting around our our toy box in general you can go to the barn and summon your little horse friend <laughs> so I've been having a lot of fun with these new creative toys I'm still learning like I said I'm still learning about some of them but the ones that I have used like the calendar configurator and the context button creator whatever it's called uh, those have been pretty useful and um, I will say right now, so so as you can see, this is episode three. The main street has not started development just yet, but in the future, which is where I come from, the main street is in full bloom, and I'm loving it right now. I, I really like playing it, just going back to it, just to enjoy the way it looks. Um, so you are in for a treat when when it does become developed. <laughs> and again, Anger is just pacing back and forth on this bridge. I think he's missing his friend Fear. I have Fear coming in the mail. I think tomorrow I will be getting him, so I'll have all of the inside out characters. And at that point, I think I'm only missing like two or three characters total from, from Disney Infinity 3.0, which is pretty crazy. Except, of course, like Iron Man and Hulk, Hulkbuster and, and Ultron. I, I don't have those yet, but no one does, right? <laughs> 
Okay, so what I wanted to do here is basically there was a set piece that I wanted to add right in front of the bridge, and so I also wanted to add some kind of like, I wanted to try out those blended terrain pieces, which are kind of like really, really flat uh, terrain pieces that you can put at the edges of your terrain, and it makes it look like, you know, it kind of blends with whatever, whatever, um, theme you're going with so I I wanted to try to add some of those because I thought they seemed kinda cool and I, and I wanted to not just make the the Main Street area just a big square so uh, I wanted to add something that makes it look you know like a unique piece of land rather rather than just a big block so I'm adding just some some small terrain pieces at the edge here I think I add this one right here and I'm just reconfiguring it like that At this moment, when I was recording this video, I still hadn't known exactly what I wanted to do with the um, with the Main Street area. You know, I was still kind of a little hesitant to start it because there was so much that I could do. I didn't want it to be like ugly or anything, but you know, I ended up working it out and just really kind of playing it by ear, just kind of going going along with with the ride, I guess, and it ended up turning out pretty nicely. I, I'm really happy with the way it looks right now, and and there's still more to come. I think after the the video that I just uploaded yesterday, or, or recorded yesterday, I'm probably going to be um, adding a new area to my toy box so that there's not just Main Street and the farm. Also, if you haven't checked out my... I, I have a couple series going right now, and I will be adding at least one more. So, um, Disney Infinity 3.0 series. The first one is this series, the Let's Build a Toy Box. So, if you haven't checked out the other episodes, um, I mean, it's definitely a good idea to watch them all in order, just so you can see how I'm developing all of these things at, at, as, as time goes on. Uh, the other series is my Disney Infinity 3.0 character review series. So rather than just like doing an unboxing video, I'm actually showing gameplay of each of the 3.0 characters, although I'm doing it like one at a time, so I don't have them all out just yet. I'm doing, you know, gameplay of each of those characters, and just to kind of show you what they look like in the game, how they play, what their strengths and weaknesses are, what their skill trees look like, and yeah. <laughs> so if you want to, um, you know, check those series out as well. But it looks like I was t too busy talking and, and the video just ended without me. So um, thank you very much for watching this episode. And I will definitely be posting more. This is a really fun series for me to do. I, I really enjoy it. And I hope you're enjoying it as well. But definitely leave some suggestions for things that you would like to see in the series for different areas that I should add, different set pieces, etc. And uh, I'll definitely be taking uh, comments from my viewers. Thank you for watching and have a good day.